As you can tell, members are moving in and out because of votes on the floor. I fully understand, Senator. Votes on the floor Thank of the United States Senate. Senator Ricketts. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Dr. Campbell, for your willingness to continue to serve our country. And I appreciate your comment that you made about uh, people thinking this country was in decline and being wrong numerous times in the past. I remember uh, being a young business school student in the late 80s, yeah. and Japan's manufacturing base was going to take over the world. And obviously, they're a very important ally, but uh, did not work out quite the way people were predicting yeah. at that time. Um, anyway, so uh, when you and I spoke in my office, we talked about what we need to do to deter the People's Republic of China with regard to any sort of military aggression toward Taiwan. And we talked about a number of things, not only preparedness of our military, but what we need to do with regard to investments in technology, working with our partners and allies, uh, what we need to do with regard to our economic and investment policies. And couldn't agree more on those things. And you've highlighted some of the very positive developments that have occurred that you've participated in with regard to our partners and allies. But there's one area that we have not made progress where we have frankly failed, which is trade. And the People's Republic of China is not sitting still on this. You know, they announced their regional comprehensive uh, economic partnership, which is their 15-member free trade bloc. In response, the administration has put together the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. This is really aligning regulations and standards around four yeah. pillars. It does not include things such as market access or tariffs. And my understanding is that the APEC conference, they had hoped to be able to roll out the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework pillars, and that got put to the back burner, uh, so that's not happened. But maybe you could talk a little bit about you know, certainly states like Nebraska, yeah. we want to see more open access and reduce reduction in tariffs and so forth. Uh, we also uh, hear that from our allies. They would like to see the same thing. I was a supporter of TPP. I believe you were as well. Talk to me about what are our allies getting with the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework, and do we need to start addressing things like market access and tariffs? So, first of all, Senator, I do want to thank you for the meeting I had with you, and I want to commend you for really focusing on the Indo-Pacific. I do think um, th this, uh, the thing that we need to underscore is that this body has a long history of very distinguished members who are committed to the Indo-Pacific, and it's nice to see people following uh, in the, the steps of Senator Lugar, uh, uh, Senator Inouye, and others. So I wanted to thank you for that. And I note very clearly uh, your state's interests in broadening uh, agricultural and other kinds of engagements in the Indo-Pacific. So I support that. So I, I do want to just take a moment to stand back. Um, and the larger picture, in many ways, is quite impressive. We have, we're the largest investor in the region. Last year, was uh, by most measurements the largest trade uh, year in our history with the Indo-Pacific. It was much more diverse than in the past, not just with China, other countries. So we are diversifying. We are working with allies and partners on diversifying supply chains and issues associated with critical minerals, working in technology. So we are part and fully integrated into the Indo-Pacific economic and commercial uh, picture. So we have to begin with that. But the truth is that the region expect us to play a role as a confident, engaged uh, player on commercial and economic matters. Um, I think if I am confirmed, I'm going to commit to work with you and others to, feel, to see if there is a bipartisan way forward. I think you... Um, in your remarks, I think you recognize um, implicitly that there are challenges on both sides of the aisle. Questions about whether trade or certain kinds of trade uh, agreements, are they good for the United States? Do they benefit our workers? I think we have to take that into consideration and we have to see what's possible. I will also say, I think there are elements of IPEF that are important on diversifying supply chains, on looking at how taxation policy works. These are critical operating matters, but the truth is there is more that we can do. I'm committed to working with you on that going forward. So is it fair to say then that you think IPEF is, a, is important, and I'm not trying to argue that regulations and standards aren't important, 
but that we also need to look for a way to move forward on other uh, additional trade agreements to be able to counteract what the PRC is doing in the Indo-Pacific. Because I think our allies are expecting us to be able to provide an alternative. I, I don't believe that they want to do these things with China without having us uh, have the same opportunities. And I think they'd prefer to yeah. uh, be a trade partner with us rather than the PRC. Yeah. So look, I can say this, Senator. I think it is absolutely essential that in our future that we are deeply fundamentally in, uh, intertwined and engaged with the commerce, business, and economics of the Indo-Pacific. And if we are not, we will not uh, succeed. Yeah, and I, just, I, I'm, I realize I'm out of, well, Chairman's busy anyway. Yes, sir, go so, ahead. Uh, uh, I'm out of time, but I, I, one of the things I will just highlight. We're just uh, negotiating here. Import, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of the reasons I think it's important is, I, as the former governor of Nebraska, I can tell you that the PRC was a terrible trade partner. They were a terrible trade partner. They certainly haven't lived up to their agreements they agreed to under the Trump administration, but even before that, I can tell you the, the products they bought from us, they would buy a lot and then they'd cut us off. I mean, it was just, it, they were not a good trade partner. So I think there is an opportunity for us to, to be able to push back on them. We can be successful, but we gotta make sure that we're working our partners and get these, these trade deals done. So thank, thank you, you, Senator. Thank, thank you, you, Dr. Campbell.